hi guys welcome back to the xtjs video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn about the models in xtjs so first question is uh, what is the model and why we have to use this so model is the data representation of any store or any data that we are just, just uh, getting from the api or from the local store all right so uh, let's say you have some data and uh, sometime we have to define the data type and we have to define the what kind of data we have so let's for example uh, you have an, uh, this data is here so in the model you will tell that this data is a name and it could be an integer type or any other type like a string and whatever else and same with the email and the phone so last video we don't make any model but data still represent here all right so this is not mandatory that you have to make a model but it's a good option and it will provide the validation and other functionality also so now let's get started with a uh, code so first of all you can see that this is our store which is make the last video and if you don't uh, don't watch this video then you can watch the link is given in the description box also so first of all i'm just going to make a new file with the name of um yeah extra why extra because i just made my model um store and controller everything with the extra so this is for a simple naming convention so let's define uh, a model first of all so use the ext dot define and um here we have to pass the two function as you know as i told you in the last video so if you are new then uh, i'm recommending you to that the watch our previous video otherwise you can continue with that also so model and extra this is a namespace uh the namespace and file uh, would be the similar uh, and the second object will be uh, the second parameter will be an object so i'm just extending um the model so i have to extend the ext dot data dot model and after that you can just uh, use the alias okay so my bad and in the alias you can define the name so this is my model dot extra and uh, let's take fields and uh, fields uh, we have to choose the array because you can see that there is a three fields name email and phone and if you just go to the uh, the store then then you will get the three fields so all right here so i'm just going to define three fields so here this is the name and the name of this is can be similar name and the second field with an object like um, email and the name of email is also email and you can uh, put the like name is and full name or whatever you want right so as a third we can use the phone and phone can be type of or can be name as and phone all right so uh, now just try to get this model here so for that i have to use simply um model and with the name of model i can just use my this namespace here fine so now let's try to is it working or not so if there's any error so this is a no error all right so you can see that this is our model and we just define the name of uh, the fields there are how many fields are here so we can provide the validation and more things so first of all let's uh, i'm going to just want to show that a simple validation so if you want to just type here that means uh, what type of data will be there so let's say i if i just put here integer int then it will accept only integer value and if that there is a no integer value then it will be the, uh, not a number here all right so let's see so now you can see that n a n is there 
so that means this is not a number so uh, with kind of that we can uh, tell that what kind of data should be rendered and we can provide the uh, some manual function here also some validations here also so we will see these things in the next video so thanks guys thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe our channel if you have any kind of query you can ask me in the comment box